What's going on? My name is Kay Kurd. I'm Marcus Brunzi. We are the Ain't Got A Clue podcast. Now, yeah. if you're here and you want to support us a little bit more, yeah. here's what you can do. Yeah, man. Well, you're about to listen to a clip of our bonus episode called More Of A Clue. And you can listen to the whole of that if you're on the on Apple Podcast app. You just head to it, yeah? I'm, I'm looking at it right now. There's a little button when you search our, our podcast and it says try free. Yeah. You get three, day, three days for free. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, you're going to finish all the episodes in three days. Nah, no innit? chance, So bro. just try sign up in it. Yeah. Uh, for the price of a coffee every month, you get episodes ad-free, early, all of that jazz. Exactly. Anyway, let's get on with a clip of our bonus episode, More of a Clue. The other day, somebody goes to me, oh, yeah, do you have, like, a copy of that, like, video that you did about whatever? And I was like, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you did a video about, I was like, bro, yeah. I might have done. I don't know. Check like, out. Uh, the amount of times I get stopped in the street and people go, um, oh, my God, like, that video. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. when I did that, oh. Yeah, and I start laughing. I'm like, that yeah. was funny. Shout out to the gang that have been um, uh, saying hi to us or me when I'm when they've actually been listening to the podcast. So a dude came up to me just holding his phone, going, yeah. and I was like, oh shit, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Fuck mad, hell, man. Yeah, man. I, I get people that go like <laughs> the other day. I was walking towards a comedy store. Yeah, <laughs> somebody goes, <laughs> he looked at me and was like, that's K Kurt. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, bro. Yeah, it's right, right yeah? G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was it, and I walked off. But, like, I just find it funny when people are like, uh, Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's nice to know the contents. The and content it's, and it's thing, funny yeah. when their friend has no clue who you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. oh, I'm not that, I'm not that well-known. <laughs> You're like, it's K-Curd, who? Yeah. I've, I've had, because I'm, I'm not, I ain't got profile like you, yeah, but I've had some of the projects I do, they, like, go out quite far. But you know me, innit, bruv? I'm a quite a relaxed person. I'll go gym in just like a crusty tee and a, and a tracksuit bottoms in it. Like I'm not trying to be like, hey, I'm Marcus Bronzy looking good all the time. So I've just been in the gym like in some fucking loose vest, just banging weights. And the bros come up to me and going, O2, yeah? O2, I see you, bro. O2. Because I did some mad Snapchat cover and he's like, O2, yeah, I see you, bro. I didn't know you was into them kind of things there, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to bang my weights. It's like, funny, well done, bro. It's well funny done. people like in the gym or those environments that don't have a clue what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they see you and they're like, like I had one guy from from my area saw me walking my dog and was like yo big man is this you yeah i showed him yeah. my instagram and i was like yeah, yeah. Man, my auntie just told me like it's you're, you're a comedian and yeah. i was like yeah, yeah oh so you're funny i didn't know you was funny you know bro like follow me back man <laughs> follow i just followed you bro follow me but man does music yeah fucking hell now 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 if you see me like on a certain rapper's yeah. page yeah and it says followed I don't nice. endorse what they say. No, K is gang affiliated. He's gang affiliated, bruv. You got you keep you keep it real. Do you ever, out here. Do you ever like <laughs> man is just like, let me t <laughs> let me turn left real quick. <laughs> yeah, go on. Do you ever like just I, I live in an area which is not like there's parts of it that gentrify, but there's parts of it where you're still yeah. very much in the hood. It's still going through the journey of gentrification, would you say? Yeah. I still when when people are like, oh that's nice, kids are playing out, I'm like, he's on lookout. <laughs> Oh, look at him <laughs> looking for his friends. Oh, yeah. he, he, well, oh, that's nice. You see, you don't see kids on bikes a lot these days. Yeah, he's, he's, he's delivering. Yeah, he's on lookout. <laughs> he's dropping off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. and it's mad. Like, am I cynical for that, or am I like just savvy to You're it? You're probably seeing what it is. <laughs> You're probably seeing what it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or it's like when I see like, the, like one guy. There's always a guy that goes into a car for like five minutes, then comes back out of the car. Yeah. Oh, he loves his and cars, his doesn't car, he? No, and then this car yeah. moves off the estate yeah. and then comes back a few hours later. Oh, that James is always in. He loves his car. He's always driving around. Doesn't even go too far. He's always driving around in circles in the end, all, all and hours. I, and I'm yeah. just like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. he's, he's drip, dropping off something. Yeah. He? <laughs> and like, you know what's going on in yeah. it. Obviously, we can't really say. Yeah, I'm not going to snitch in it. Yeah, like, it's nothing to do with me, but. It's so funny when I can see. Yeah, yeah. Because once you understand what's going on yeah. in your area, you understand. Whereas other people are just going, eh, yeah. yeah, they don't think of anything of it. Like, yeah. oh, he's just probably dropped off his mate. Nah, yeah. bro. For bruv. me, it's when I see the handoffs. I'm like, I can see a handoff 30 seconds before it happens, innit? And I'm like, you, man, you think you're being smooth, innit? Yeah. You're not being smooth, innit? And, and let me tell you one thing, yeah. yeah? Undercover cops yeah. are like, they're looking more and more undercover. They've got internet now, bro. You know, you used to be yeah. able to, you used to be able to spot an undercover cop. Yeah. From a mile off. Yeah. yeah. Used to be able to, if you lived in, yeah. in the right areas, you'd yeah. be like, hold on, what are you doing here with a, yeah. with like New Balance yeah. on? 
now New Balance is is mainstream, isn't it? Yeah. So they're like wearing Nike Air Maxes yeah, and stuff. Like they just they like I saw a couple undercover police officers stop this kid, and I swear to you, yeah, I just thought they were road white guys. You thought they were getting, you thought they were just robbing a dude. I, I you just thought, thought it was a robbery. I thought they were white road men. Yeah. Like, yeah. With the way they were dressed, yeah. yeah. They, like, what? I swear to you, I think one of them even had a tattoo on his neck in it. Like, yeah. this undercover police officer, yeah. The way they stopped this guy, and <laughs> like, I was like, oh shit. Mm, shit. They got, thing is that they got internet now, innit? So they can, they can get, they, they know what's going on, innit? They know they can, they can infiltrate, innit? It's okay. like, it's like, in, um, when the, the cars that they're in, you used to be able to tell which one, like, if it was a Ford Mondeo back mm, in the day, nine mm. times out of ten, when you saw a Ford Mondeo, you're like, bro, a cop car. It was Mondeo, <laughs> then it was the Astra, it was the Vauxhall Astra, that's what it yeah. was. Yeah, cop car. Now, I don't know, man. Like, there is something you just see some random Kia just going, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you're like, what the yeah. fuck? I saw a, um, it wasn't an undercover car, but I saw a, a police car that was a Mustang Mach E the other day, bruv. They got electric whips, you know? Oh, I've seen a Range as well. I've seen some Range Rovers looking quite tasty as well. And they've put, they've had imagine, the blues and imagine twos. Imagine trying to n nick a Range Rover and then you realize it's a police Range Rover. <laughs> Boy, you put that back real nice. You probably, you know what they do? Nick it, clean it, and drop it back real nice with a thank you note. But if they, can, if they can nick it, it's probably a bit more kudos behind it, isn't it? We just nicked it. It's got sirens. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, in it? That's they the, just send it to another country. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, if that was rolling down a road in flipping Lagos, man, you just flip the blues and twos on. Traffic's moving for you, bruv. I'm telling you now. Woo, 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 yeah, I'm woo, telling you now. Woo, woo, I'm telling you now. Um, the amount of people that are getting their Range Rovers stolen, it's just not even worth buying anymore. You've been on a few um, driving trips recently. You went on Yeah, I thought he was going to say something. <laughs> You've nicked a few Range Rovers recently. No, ago. No, no, I've been on no. a few driving trips. Yeah, I went out with Alfa Romeo, man. They took us out to see their new range. I'm not, I wasn't really an Alfa from a right driver they're quite a manly man's 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 geezer geezer man 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 car like they i didn't realize they're that kind of brand it. yeah that was honestly i went to the i went to them shout out to the, um, my camera operator ned that we rolled with and um we were saying like my experience at alfa romeo is like gearbox in the garage working, yeah. gearbox all that kind of stuff but that was then in it what are they got now so then we, i was like saying like whatever you do bro don't crack them kind of jokes when you first see them and then one of the guys was like so alfa romeo what do you think of them i was like Mm, if I'm honest, bruv, kind of feel like they break down a lot of that. But now nah, they took us out to see their new range. Uh, we got in some Veloces. We went to Darlington. So it's like edge of Cumbria. So we drove around at ends where there weren't a lot of police. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a lot of open roads and just drove their whips around, man. They got like a crossover SUV. We got in bare technology in them now, which I want as standard in my car, man. Wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, the the um, navigation tells you how much petrol costs at a petrol station. I want that on all cars, by the way. I need to know how much I'm paying per litre. Yeah, man, just drove around for a little bit, enjoyed the whips. What do you want? The thing is, is what do you want from a car now? Like everyone says Marcus and tech, I'm into this tech thing, but I'm not into tech for the sake of tech. I want my tech to just work. Innit? Yeah, like, you know, when certain cars, people are like, oh yeah, and it's got this like nice new um, bit of technology mm. that lets you know when your coffee is cooling down too much. And you're like, bro, Shut I don't up, bro. need that yeah. shit, bro. Just get yeah. me the fucking, yeah. how much... How much petrol do I have left? Exactly, exactly. If I want to charge my car because it's electric, I'm not gonna lie though. How can I, need, I charge I need, on the way I home? Need, I need, I need, a, I need. Um, next car I get, yeah, which is probably in about two years. Yeah, what are you getting? No, I need something that's got like the seats that massage you. Yeah, boy, let me tell you this. Yeah, it's a vibe. It is so nice when you lean back into the seat and the seats just need. Oh shit, because you're back in it. Just, oh, so that, yeah. just, just because I just. Just sort of, I'm old. <laughs> Just, I'll be real with you, yeah. Like yeah. the other day, I did a podcast called Wheeler Dealer, yeah. And they Shout were asking me, and they were asking me what my ideal car was, yeah? yeah. And I was like, and and it's and it's really crazy because the older I've got, the less I care mm. about what car I drive in it. As like, I'm, I'm, I've sort of got into dad mode without being a dad, where Sweet. I'm like, I need something practical. I respect need, that, yeah. Um. But when I was in Dubai, I got in that electric Mercedes mm. and it was chauffeur driven. Mm. And you know, you're in the back and it's got all the technology yeah. in the back and like it's got, you can you can fiddle around with the seats and mm -hmm. it was like heated and massage and whatever. And I was like, that would be my ideal car and somebody driving me around. That's a great answer, I think, to have a car that you're driven in. That's if a fantastic answer. If I had a answer. driver, yeah. I would get so much more done. Mm. It's unbelievable. 
that's why a lot of people have drivers so they can still do the business when they roll around with what kind of stuff are you because you're quite good at working on the go innit yeah yeah like I, I could, as long as I, I've got my uh, MacBook with me I could pretty much do anything you don't get do you ever get car sick or anything like that are you quite, pretty cool you can sit in a do car do you know what when I'm driving no yeah if I'm in it depends what car I'm in I was in a um, Mercedes Viana recently mm. you know the big 4x4 four four one not 4x4 four four, sorry van like yeah, ones yeah. that they for like tour heavy, buses and stuff heavy yeah. and I was in that for a while and I don't think because you can't open a window or anything yourself. Mm. There's no windows that you can open at the back. Mm. And I felt a bit sick. Because you can't crack them open. You just reminded me about something. I can share this with the Patreon gang. Like, So you know how I'm not a comedian, but I try to say funny things sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't always work. So You're funny, man. I was wearing shorts on this press trip. I'm wearing this type party time of the UK where it's cold. Too, a bit too cold for shorts, but it can get warm enough for shorts sometimes, isn't it? So when the sun's out, I'm nice. When it's not, I'm fucking cold. And people kept making comments over like the two days I was there because I had a couple pairs of shorts on. It's like, oh, you're not a bit cold, not a bit cold. And then someone tried to, someone tried, <laughs> someone tried to say something about my calves in it, like, bruv. And there you go. That was a little clip of more of a clue. If you want to hear the whole of that episode, what they got to do, K? You just got to go on the Apple Podcast app, press try free, and then it won't be free in it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you get three days of free for the price of a coffee, <laughs> and then it will un unlock all the bonus episodes and our regular bonus. episodes ad free. Bonus, in it. Peace.